In this video demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can control subform records from a combo box on the main form. So here I've got a customer's orders set up, and when I select one from the combo box, I get all the related orders below. So I'm selecting the customer, and when it finds a match, I'm getting the related orders for that customer. So how did I do that? Okay. Well, let's close this form and go to the main database window. Essentially, what I'm looking at here are the customers table. We'll just open that. Um, the primary key is customer ID. And we're also looking at the all table, which also has the customer ID as a foreign key. So we're using those two tables. And the first thing we want to do is we want to create a form with a combo box. Okay, so we need to create a new form. So we'll go to Forms, New, Design, and we want to select the Customers table as the source. Okay, now we get our toolbox up, make sure the wizard is pressed down, and select Combo Box, drop it on the form, click Next, and we want to select Table Customers, and what we need here is Customer ID and Company Name. Remember, customer ID is going to be the link. So now we do next, and we'll sort it by company name. Next, we don't want to show the primary key, so we click next. We don't want to store any values, click next, and we click finish. So now we have our company name combo box, and if you run the form, we can see we get the various companies coming up. Now we just save this form and we'll call it customers main form click OK and now what we need to do is we need to create a sub form and put it on the main form we're going to be using a query as the data source for the subform, and it's this one here called Cust Orders. If I go to Design, we can see that I've got the orders table, order details, and the products. And these are the columns I'm going to be having in my subform. And remember, I need customer ID, which I've got here, and that's going to provide the link to the main form. So customer ID comes from orders because we're having a customer in the combo box and we're showing all the related orders, so we need the customer ID from the orders table. So let's go ahead and create the subform. Click New, click Design View, and we want to select the query, Cust Orders. Now what we need to do is double click here, and we need to change the default view to become Datasheet. Now we just drag on the fields, we can get rid of this one, we don't need to show this, we don't need to show that. So if we run the form, that's what we get. Go back to design, now I'll save this form. Order sub info. So all we have to do now is link the two forms together. So if I go to the main form, bring it up in design, and I need to give the combo box a name. So I've called it CBO Company. And now we just need to drag the subform onto this form. So here's our subform, drag it on and drop it. And the way we connect the two up now is to get the name of our combo box. and we just click on the top here of our subform 
bring up the properties right click on it bring up the properties click on it again okay this is what we need we need the link child and the link master the link master is the main form and what we want to put in there is the value of the combo box name which is that and the link child is going to be our customer ID in the subform so that's all we need we can just now run the form now if we select a value from our combo box we can see we're starting to get the subform records appearing so we're getting all the orders for various customers there we go and that's how you create a customer order relationship by using a combo box and a subform